Uh, governments will be the last ones to, to make this decision, but every rational actor will move before the government. So Paul Tudor Jones, Stanley Druckenmiller, Bill Miller, Rick Reeder, who works for BlackRock, Guggenheim, Skybridge, my company, Square, you're going to see an avalanche of smart money in the investment community. And you're going to see an avalanche of smart CEOs. And you're going to see high net worth individuals. Boy, it's like, you can have your goal. This year, you got 18% return on your goal. But if you bought Bitcoin, you got 290% return on your Bitcoin. Okay. That's been going on. It didn't happen this year. It's been going on every year for a decade. Bitcoin's running 200% on average annually every year for a decade. So I guess my answer would be, how many years you have in your life? Because if I show you something that's doing 200% a year and the average thing is doing 10% a year and the best thing did 20% a year and you wait five years, you gave up five out of 30. You wait 10 years, you gave up one third of your life. You're going to wait 15 years and give up half your working life. Do I got to do it for 30 years before someone actually says maybe it works? Gold, like gold is antiquated store of value. It peaked in the 19th century. It's not working. You can see it's not working. And the reason it doesn't work is because you can corrupt it. You can confiscate it. You can hypothecate it and lie about it and try moving $100 million of gold or $10 million of gold through an airport when you decide you need to change jurisdictions or, you know, when a country decides to tax it, how are you going to move it? It'd take you a year and have hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, so gold, gold is this 5,000 year old idea of a bearer instrument of value <coughs> or apex money. If everybody in the world with money agreed they were going to use gold, the gold standard, it might sort of work, but it's too slow for the 20th, 21st century, probably too slow for the 20th century. So people moved away from it and we've replaced it with something better, moves at the speed of light that you can program, smart money, pure monetary energy. You can cling to your gold, but it's like clinging to your Kodak stock because you like photos instead of buying Apple. It's like, it's like clinging to Rand McNally maps instead of Google maps. The digital version is going to be a hundred times better. And there's just no, you can cling to your horses when the automobile comes along. It's, it's, it's not a speculative asset. It's a digital monetary network, which is a million times better than the physical monetary networks and the paper monetary networks it's replacing. So you, if you ignore it, you're kind of like ignoring running water and electricity and railroads and airplanes. It's technology. It's the future.